So finally, let's talk about earned value. And we are starting with something called earned value analysis. Now before I talk about what is earned value and what are other terms, I need to give you a little bit background about our example. So we have a situation here. We have a one project assignment where it is required a project team should install 50 desktop machines for a client. So one contractor got an assignment of installing 50 50 desktop machine for a client and contractor said that give me $1,000 for it. So that's a deal. So the, the contract is of $1,000 which requires 50 machines to be installed and contractor asked for five days for it. So this is the business deal is over. You got a project and contractor came home or came to office and asked the project manager, give me a project plan, give me an estimate. How much are you going to spend for installing 50 machines in five days for this, this computer, uh, this particular client. Now project manager came in, he did some estimation and figured it out. It requires $100 per day for five days. And in five days, he should be able to install all these 50 machines. So the point I want to bring here is the, the estimation of $100 per day makes the total project cost or a project baseline 500. So the project cost baseline has nothing directly to do with the amount of money the contractor getting against this work. The project cost baseline is a function of what a project manager and team is estimating the amount of money need to be spent for that work. How much you are getting for it, it's a separate conversation and earned value management has nothing to do with it. Now, this $500 and getting 50 machine installed in $500 is a focus area for earned value management. Now, let's make this plan a little bit more elaborative and visible so that we can understand it as we move forward. So, we are planning to have so these are the days. So this is, let me introduce the table here. So I have a table where I have marked one, two, three, four, five, five days. And I have a column called plan, actual, and there is something called earned value, which I will elaborate later. So at this point of time, as a project manager of this installation project, I'm telling that, okay, I will install 10 machines every day, simple. And I will spend $100 per day. And that makes my overall project estimate as, as 500. So rather than putting here, I'm putting just on the top. So I'm putting 500 is my estimate for this particular project. So I will get the 50 machines done in $500. Now, if I plot this thing in a, in a cumulative scales, so on a, on a, on a uh, range of five days, I can say that this is the one scale where the days are and here my cumulative expenses are. So on day one, I spent 100. On days two, I spent 200. So something like this, I will go. Day three, I will spend 300. Day four, I will spend 400. And day five, I will spend 500. So this is my planned way of spending money and getting the work done. So this same information, if I put it on a, on a scale of cumulative, this represent my planned value. Now, what does it mean? It means is that I am planning to spend $500 and I will get the $500 work done in five days. So on every day I will spend $100 and I will get 10 machines installed. And this is my planned value. Planned value of 100 and I will earn 10 machines done per day. This is happening. Plan. Now, the project execution gets started. You have a day one. And on a day one, you send someone, a one guy, to install the machines. You thought of that you would get it, the person in $100. But for this particular day, that $100 individual was not available to you as a project manager. And you end up hiring a person who is charging you $120 rather than $100. So this is your actual cost for that particular day. And this person could not figure out where the office is and he spent so much time here and there 
Finally, at the end of the day, he could install seven machines. So your reality becomes is like this, you are done with seven machines installation against 10 machines planned and you have spent $120 against $100 plan. So this $120 we call it actual cost because this is the money you are spending. So actual cost for a given day is $120. The money goes out from your money, a pocket and the plan was $100. Pretty simple. Now I can represent the same thing on this particular graph. I can say that on, on day one, so there is some alignment issue. I can say this is 100 here. So on day one, I can say that there is a red line which is representing that I spend 120 rather than 100. So my actual cost was 120, whereas my planned was 100. Pretty simple. Yeah. Now the term earned value comes in. Now what is earned value? Earned value we can think of is a combination of actual quantity and planned rate. Something like this. So it's a way of if everything would have gone as per plan, ideally how much I should have spent for installing seven machines? What was the plan for spending, for installing seven machine as far as money is concerned? So now I am mixing the actual quantity with planned expenses. So I planned expense was 100 against 10 machines. So I can say that I was planning to spend $10 per machine. That was my plan. $10 per machine. I installed 7 machines. So if I take the planned expense rate with my actual work done, what would be the earned value? It is like what is the value of my work completed? I spent $120 but $120 work I have not done. This is money went out of from my pocket. I have done even less than $100 work because I could not even install 100 machines. So the term earned value says that the value of work you did is how much. So the value of work which I did is a 7 and the rate should have been 10. I would say here that my earned value is 70. Now earned value is, is a terminology which tells us how what is the worth of work completed against my budget. Because if I come, want to compare, if I to tell that day one is over and we only earned $70, actually we spent $120 but the amount of work we did actually worth $70 and that is what the earned value. We did a $70 worth work and that's a separate issue that we end up spending $120. And if I put it into a graph, so I say plan value is everything was a target. It was a baseline. Actual cost became $120. Now my plan earned value is more or less. So it is coming like this. $70. And then we have a various other ways of of understanding the variances in, in uh, about earned value and, and plant value. So we will see them in our subsequent videos that how we can calculate the variances and other stuff related to earned value and plant value using the same example. So I reiterate again, don't get confused between earned value and the contract cost or the value of work, like money you get from the client. It has nothing to do with the money you get from the client. In a simple sense, earned value means what is the value of my completed work as per my cost baseline. So cost baseline gives you a, a rate based on your budgeted amount of work and budgeted cost. Your actual gives you the actual work. So I calculate the, the, the cost or the value of actual work by using my budgeted calculation. Like I use 7 and rate of 10 and I came up with. 70. We will see in our subsequent video how to make more 
sense out of this particular uh, calculation.